to cover this up because no, I know, you but I can, yes, I do. Say hi, bye, Jack. <laughs> We're going to miss you, Jack. I want to miss you guys, too. Oh, we're going to miss you. You guys are incredible people, great human beings, and very generous. And also, you might, you guys might be seeing Badge over at the Vandold party over at Jamie's. Yeah, yes. we'll try Perhaps. to do the Vandold yes. this year. So, thank you for everything, seriously. You're welcome. No, I appreciate it. We, we yeah. love you. I, we, like I said, uh, moments before I turned the camera on, I feel like I made a new a new family. So, yeah, we, we'll be in touch. welcome anytime. You All know, right. You can adopt us. <laughs> All right. You Deal. Can adopt us. You Sold. Can adopt us. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's the uh, estimate of uh, labors that we did, well, badge, did on the uh, the bus here, 29.5 hours. We'll just call it 30. Well, actually, that didn't even inclu include the fix for some other stuff. So I think we're probably up to like 35 hours. Massive, massive gift that I received. And uh, like I said, I feel like I made new lifelong friends and, you know, almost, almost like a New family, Canadian family. So uh, yeah, we'll I'll definitely be seeing him again. Um, well, both of them. And uh, today we're gonna hit the road. Cleaned up a bit in here. We're gonna head towards Tucson. Maybe stay the night there. So let's hit the road. <laughs> well, it is way past due for a wash, for a bath. And uh, looks like it's a hand wash extreme place, uh, which is still just down the way. This is right by the exit where the um, dirt road is, where I was hanging out. So, uh, $1.25 20, per foot, got uh, 21 feet, so it's going to be about 26 bucks, I think. God, look at how clean it is! I've never seen it this clean except when I first got this thing. Holy crap, it is spotless. So, if you guys come into Ehrenberg, it's right next to the Flying J. Over here at the truck wash. Wow, it's incredible. And I got a phone call from a producer, so I had to pull over and quickly email out a bunch of videos and things. Uh, I think I've mentioned before, it's happened a lot before in the past. Um, so yeah, it could be a, an exciting thing, who knows, I don't know, There's uh, life is full of possibilities and you never know what can happen to you, so that's why several times when I when people ask me what I do how I do it the most important thing to what you do is to do what you enjoy like for example if someone wants to be a painter and they say oh well you know I'm a, I, I, I work at a you know a restaurant but you know I, I, I'm, I'm a, an aspiring painter uh, you're not aspiring you already are a painter. You just happen to have a side job at a restaurant. So part of it's like convincing yourself that you are this person already and introduce, introducing yourself as such. Um, and of course, just going full steam and just like doing what you enjoy. Like if you, if you enjoy the painting, then it doesn't matter what kind of recognition you get because you're getting fulfillment within yourself. And, and if you and just like if you like eating potato chips, you eat potato chips. It's about doing what makes you happy, and there's all kinds of things that can happen as a result if you stick to what you you love doing. You will get better at it, and at some point, you'll probably be compensated for it. Which is kind of how I got some jobs in the you know travel video world, uh, and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing is because I really love traveling. And if I didn't love it, I wouldn't be out here. And the school bus was just my kind of, I don't know, this idea that came in my mind. If you watch the early vlogs, you'll actually see the point where I look over to my friend and say, hey, what about a school bus? And he says, yeah. And then half a mile down the road, like, there's a school bus. In front, like, right around the corner, there's a school bus in front of me. And then we, I pull over and I talk to him. So, anyways, as a result of some manifestation, 
Here's my latest project. This is for Visit California. It should be on their website. It's on their channel. If you want to go over and watch it, uh, it the title of it is California 101 Highway 1 Road Trip. And here we go. So let's watch it. Highway 1 is California's most famous road. I'm traveling up along the rugged central coast from San Luis Obispo to Ragged Point, the gateway to Big Sur. So yeah, there we go. Let's fast forward a bit. Um, and actually we get some good food here uh, in Morro Bay. Oh yeah, and I also ate crap on the kayaks twice. After working up quite an appetite, I'm headed to Tognazini's Dockside Restaurant for some famous barbecued oysters a staple of the California coast. The oysters are local to the bay, and there's no better place to enjoy them than in the sunshine on the dock where they're brought in daily. Boom, there we go. Manifesting stuff. So anyways, like I said, Cal visit California. If you want to go check that out, give it a thumbs up. Let them know, you know, that I got people watching me. They're excited for me to, you know, do other projects and things like that. Um, Anyways, I didn't make much progress. I'm about 40 miles east of where I started, where I got the, uh, you know, bus wash. So, I gotta pee. It's at the road. Tucson, I figure I should let you guys know I'm coming east. I should be in Austin around the 1st of uh, March. Um, I need to get the cruise control turned on. If anybody has a mechanic shop, I will go out of my way uh, and spend the diesel to get to wherever you are if you are uh, on the way. I really like learning how to do things on the vehicle, and if anybody has the tools and a little extra time, I'm happy to uh, to swing by, hang out for an afternoon, and uh, yeah, flip the switch on the uh, cruise control. Uh, otherwise, I'll just stop by and have that taken care of. Uh, the videos are gonna be maybe about five days behind reality, and I'm not sure how to properly alert people to where I am. So right now I'm just thinking Louisiana, Alabama, you know, pass through uh, over to Florida, Georgia. I know those are giant states and, you know, there's a bunch of cities, but if I have 60 to 90 days to sell the bus, I definitely want to get through a bunch of states that I, I didn't see and uh, I will be kind of going through in a faster pace. Uh, I guess I'll shed some light on some of the reasons to uh, sell the bus and uh, there, there's got to be tons of questions. Number one is, like I said before in other videos and public speaking at uh, the LTA event, it is, it is much easier to cut your budget in half than it is to double your income. So if I am going to transition to a new bus, it's probably smart to do it sooner rather than later, uh, if indeed the objective is to spend less uh, money, uh, and it is. Uh, another one is, uh, you're probably wondering, are you crazy to sell your bus? You put so much hard work into it. Well, yes. Uh, I also uh, <laughs> risked all of my savings from working at this god-awful place, but also from a, a really cool hosting uh, like a travel hosting gig I did with the dairy industry, so I was able to save up my pennies and, uh, you know, I just decided to just go for it. And maybe, what and what a lot of people don't really understand about YouTube is that for small creators, it's very difficult to make a living at this. Um, with what I make, there is no way I could even, say if I lived in a city and did uh, videos, just to 
put it in perspective, I could not even afford a place to live and pay for food and all that stuff. So I have been bleeding since I began. I, I started with a considerable, you know, I'm, I mean, relative to me, a considerable amount of money to try and get to the point where I would not have to go back to a job job that uh, to where to where I could do this for a living. And uh, there is a possibility if I would keep on going through the summer, the numbers would jump up, the revenue would jump up. But like I said, if I'm going to get out of a bus for a size reason or a cost reason, I might as well do it now while I still have the money. Uh, because if I run out of cash and, and, and want to do it later, then it becomes a burden on myself. So I'm partly trusting my buddy who wants to buy the bus, that he will buy the bus. And if he ends up not buying the bus, uh, then of course I'll have to find someone else and that would, would put me in a slight pickle. However, a friend of mine, Bus Life Adventure, sold his bus for more than what uh, we discussed uh, for Dan the Adventure Bus, so I'm not really too worried about it. But this is a specialty <laughs> item. It is a very unique, one-of-a-kind thing. And you definitely need somebody who appreciates it and not some person who um, who doesn't appreciate it, I guess. So at this point, like I previously mentioned, there are a lot of possibilities uh, floating around for bus number two. Um, there are interesting ideas how to fund it. There are interesting ideas to document it. And all I'm gonna say is use your imagination because if you thought of it, there's a good chance I have thought of it too. And it's, it, it's gonna be... I'm thinking that this new bus would allow me to give back in a way. And whatever form that takes, uh, I think that is important to traveling around and meeting people, uh, doing these videos, uh, I'm here, I'm talking about myself, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> well, I'm talking to you guys, but I'm literally talking to myself next to a, a train track and over next to a gas station. So it would be nice to, to do something nice for others to either, yeah. It would definitely be nice to do something for others. It's. It would also be nice to help bring people along who wouldn't normally have the resources to do that and I think I mentioned like a collab type thing, other creators, that's always fun. I like surrounding myself with good energy and uh, creative energy because when you're on the road and you know you stop and you're documenting life as it is, it's fun to be around other people who also document life with a camera. It just makes you feel less of a weirdo <laughs> when you go into a store and whip out your camera and start talking to your right hand. It's, uh, for everybody who makes videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Also, a heads up, I put about 15 ways that you guys could uh, help me out, help grow the, tr uh, the channel, uh, including um, actually a couple funny ones. And uh, number 15 has been requested for quite some time. So for those of you who are inclined, who have been asking, Patreon is open for business. And thank you in advance.